Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back to our little mini-series all about full comprehension. Something really cool, which you may or may not know about, is that you can actually uh, generate a series of data and actually create another data type from that. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So over here, you can see, uh, if I just get a number from one to 10, and I just, I'll put that number. You see, I get a list over here. Well, there's an option, so I can say into, and of course I can just pop in a list, and you'll see nothing changes, right? So basically underneath the hood, it's always outputting a list. But what you can also do is you can say, maybe you might have duplicate values and you wanna make sure you don't have any duplicate values, you can use a map set. So you can do into a map set. You can do also uh, into, a binary. So I have to actually put this into just a quick way, put this into here, and now I can put this into a single string. So that's also quite interesting too. Um, what else you can do, of course, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this one before, you can also do into a map. The only thing you have to worry about with a map is that you should be using a tuple over here. something like that, or maybe you can make it a little more interesting. So you just get the doubled values over here. So uh, this is a really, really cool trick, right? If you wanted to you know, loop through some data and generate some type of uh, new data structure, um, the into has to require something which implements collectible, right? So you can enumerate over an enumerable, such as range, list, etc. But the into can only be for things that are into a collectible. So not all enumerables implement the collectible uh, collectible protocol. So this is something really, really cool. Uh, I think I've had used this a couple of times. Uh, again, mostly I use the enum module and do this kind of thing. Um, but yeah, in the future, I may start using this. It depends what I'm, what I'm working with. But yeah, this is something really, really interesting. And I wanted to share it with you guys in case you didn't know about this feature of four comprehensions. So please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Go rest.